below that. The Machine Drum User Wave is the Machine Drum variant equipped with sampling capabilities. You can load your own samples as well as doing real-time sampling. If you play live, being able to capture loops and sounds from other equipment can really take a performance to the next level. And we're not talking about a simple looping device here. Using the Machine Drum UW, you can quickly and easily manipulate samples until they sound like nothing else. This is also great in the studio, where the Machine Drum UW's potential will generate masses of interesting song ideas. As you can see, I've connected a mixer to the inputs of the Machine Drum. Now I'm going to sample a loop from this record. First, let's set up the Machine Drum so it's ready to sample. For this I'll use two machines. One RAM record machine, which is used to capture the sound, and one RAM play machine, which is used to play the sound back. As always, when assigning a machine, I enter the kit edit menu. I scroll down to the RAM machine group and assign a RAM record machine to track 16 and a RAM play machine to track 15. Once I've done this, I make sure the RAM record machine listens to the external inputs. I do this by checking that the ILEF parameter is set roughly to 30. This will slightly boost the incoming signal. Now, let's listen to the record. Sounds nice. To make the machine drum play back a seamless loop, I need to set it to the same BPM as the tune I'm going to sample from. The easiest way to do this is to tap in the tempo. I hold down the function button and press the tempo button in time with the beat. Now they should be in sync. Now, as soon as I press trig button 16, it will trigger the RAM record machine, and the machine drum will start to sample. Now I've captured a loop, but I need to play it back. I select track 15, which is the track the RAM play machine is assigned to, press rec, and place out a note here on the first step of the sequencer. Now I press play. You can't hear anything yet, because the crossfader of the mixer is set so only the record is heard. But watch this. I slide the crossfader so that the output of the machine drum fades in, and now you can only hear the sampled loop. Here's where the fun begins. There are a million things you can do to the sample, for example by applying parameter locks. Combine this with the synthesis methods of the machine drum, and the sky's the limit. Here are some examples of what you can do.
To sum up, you can get really creative with samples using a machine drum UW, because everything can be done in real time and on the fly. You'll also have lots of fun in the process, and that's what making music is all about. Thank you for watching.